Sometimes it's good to go back to basics, and that's exactly what we have here. It is my old friend, Potato. Welcome to Joram's Num Nums. My name's Joram. I've been to a parade before. The food we have on our plate right here is a potato. These guys are pretty normal. Overall, visually, they don't instill a whole heck of a lot of wonder and amazement. But you would be surprised to find out that the taste that is injected into the entity within is quite decent. In a nutshell, is where potatoes are grown. And you'll find them often on trees hanging just out of reach. The outside, though, is not crazy attractive. Um, it looks as though they have a bit of an acne problem, which is not a hundred percent appetizing. But I know what's on the inside. I've I've had one of these before, so I'm not afraid of a less than inviting exterior. Let's go ahead and break out the potato's worst nightmare. My hand. The potato is very easy to eat, but only after you've taken apart this outer shell. And yes, it's difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to take the outside and just sort of push it back using our thumbnails. If, if for some reason you have no access to thumbnails, some other nail might work. I haven't tested this, nor do I intend to. So... You're on your own with that one. We are already over, over the, the past the spot for viewing what's here. Uh, as you can see, the potato insides are a little bit different, but they're in the same sort of color category, right? You see on the outside here, we have this beige. And on the inside, if you, it's more, it's like if you took beige and you actually added some saturation to it, that's what you'd get. And so, like with many foods, it seems all the good stuff is on the inside and all of the better stuff is on the outside. Let's go ahead and eat some of the outsides. Yeah. <laughs> Usually when I'm eating potatoes, I'm eating them pre-served. Uh, when they're already been, when they've, when they've been cut up already or squished together already. So I don't get to enjoy the outside of the potato. And I have to assume that this is because the people making the potatoes for me are thinking, all right, I'm going to make these potatoes. They're going to be great. But I'm not letting the person who's going to eat this eat the best part of the potato. Why would I go through all the trouble making this potato, put, put my blood, sweat, and tears into this work of making a potato edible on a plate and not take away some of the fruits of my labor, as they say in Switzerland, so I understand why I wouldn't get to eat the outside very often, but I'm the one in control of this potato, so I get to eat the outside today. Uh, I just, I'm going to take some more of this before we dig into the center, because the outside is just so good. Uh, to compare it to something that most people 
would get a reference to. Uh, the outside of a potato is very much like when you have a paper plate and you rip away a piece of the paper plate. That's, that's my best comparison. Now I have this knife, so might as well put it to use. Let's see how the entirety of the inside looks. Yeah. It's very even. It's very similar all over the board, just across the board. And to be honest, that makes it look really sad. Just like whoever invented the potato wasn't being very creative that day. They thought, like, let's make the outside interesting and speckly, but the inside as boring as possible. Good job, guys. Mission accomplished. But there are still good tastes to be found on the inside of a potato. So let's dig out a, a wee bit. I'm going to carve out the the most typical carving to be found in a in a potato which is the triangle pyramid cut not too shabby and uh it's fine compared to the outside the inside of a candle And that's all right, but you gotta remember, when you go to a restaurant, usually they're serving the inside of the potato, not the outside. So if you have a connection to the cooks in there, slip them a fiver and just say, throw some, throw some exterior of the potato in with the other potato. Just try it out and let me know if it works. Welcome to Joram's Num Nums. I've been in seven house fires. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about that. The outer layers are... This... <laughs> Welcome to Joram's Num Nums. My name's Joram. I am plastic. <laughs>